Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jersey. Today I'm going to show you how I bought two hanging planter baskets and the coconut fillers from the Dollar Tree and then I turned around and made this beautiful sphere hanging basket. Let's get started. I will be showing you how to duct tape these two pieces together to make one planting sphere. You need to use a very strong duct tape and you will be taping half of the basket or less to the bottom and leave more exposed at the top for the next planter. So you want more here on top to be able to grab the next one. That is more important. Overlap the ends and then start really pushing over and over around the perimeter of the basket. Several times just come back and push. You can even go like this. Roll it, push it, turn it. Don't let this touch the table. You don't want the, any of the stickiness to go away. Find the center, cut a split in it so you can put your hand down that center. Stick your hand inside, pull this over, and try to get one, at least one section anchored. Push it. Push it, rotate it, and if it's sticking like that, that's great. Just let it be. Rotate it. Push. You can stick your thumb in there. Pull this top up a hair, and then push this one down to meet it. Do not pull the bottom, only pull that top piece. So leave this anchor down and just take your thumb and pull this top piece. Don't touch this. Only pull this inside of here, if that makes sense. So you reach in here. Push, push. This was going to take a few minutes to pull it, push it, get it anchored down. I have one that's already completed. I'm going to use that for the rest of the video. Adding this PVC pipe is purely optional. I drilled holes, then I will put it down the center. The top only has temporary tape on it. The bottom, the tape will always stay on it because if you stuck the hose in there, it would pour right out of the bottom. But this is optional. I find this very helpful when I put the hose down it. It makes the water shoot out the sides and waters all the plants in the basket. Cover the bottom really well. This will stay on. This will come off after you fill it with dirt. You do not want dirt in here. This is just temporary. This stays on. Or you can opt to buy a plug bottom that will fit in the bottom of this PVC pipe, the same size that the pipe is. So I take this, fold it on itself, place it on the permanent side, not the temporary side, the permanent side. That's going to go down in here through the center. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's basically in the center. This holds it temporarily in place until you place the dirt. I like the basket to hold this while I'm working. You can line this whole thing from the inside out with a piece of landscape fabric if you want. This might show a little bit, but once the plant comes down, it'll be fine. This is duct tape. It's even good when it gets wet. And then once all the dirt gets in there, it will push from the inside and hold it steady. Fill this whole thing with dirt all the way around. Leave this top on until you're ready to hang it. And then we're going to come back and put a few slits in it and put some plants in it. But we need to fill the whole thing with dirt first. Then we'll be back. And we are back. This is full. This weighs about five pounds. It is 
packed full. This is still on there, leave it on till you're done. Once these are put on, offset the top with the side. So it'll be hook, hook, you're gonna offset it. Get some jiffy ties, flat side facing you, push it up with your thumb, and then give a yank. We'll cut these when we're all done. And then do go around the perimeter and do as many as you need to to pull it tight. It doesn't have to look perfect because these are eventually gonna fold down. This is still in there. Now we have to decide, we'll make slits and push these inside. This is a cascading one. The dirt may fall out, it's gonna be okay. Be patient, there are several layers of this coconut fiber. It takes quite a few cuts and snips to cut through it all. You might have to cut a little this way and a little bit more this way, but you need a wide enough spot. Take your fingers, push the dirt in there. This is a very big plant. These are smaller, these will be smaller for down there. So you can just smush them together, it will not hurt them. Fold this back, you might have to cut a little bit wider slit. Open this up. So take these, fold them out of your way. Pull it out of your way, like that. Get your plant in there. And then you're gonna close it back up and just manipulate it. And if you need more dirt, just reach in there and pull some of this dirt from the side or the top. And this will hold it in tightly. So that's done. I like to work in quadrants. So I'm gonna come on this side and I'm gonna do the same thing Try to cut down to the bottom. Fold this out of your way. It acts as an extra pair of hands. And if you have to go a little bit that way, that's fine. Tuck that out of the way and then tuck these up. Take that dirt, push it this way, push it that way, and then we're gonna push it back in the plant if we need it. You're not hurting the roots. You're just actually teasing them. We're not, do not cut the roots. Take some of your dirt, put it back, push these down. Make sure you get the roots covered. You don't want any roots and air exposed. Always cover your roots. You can always flip this back and add more dirt as you go. I will do that at the very end to see if there's any that needs it. These will cascade down. So if you can, it's best to get them up toward the top. I'm gonna leave room because this is probably gonna go this wide. This is gonna get this wide, so I'm gonna do some here and some down here. Take this dirt and shove it to that plant. Create a hole in there. Pull this out and let it just lay there. Take this dirt, push it that way, push it that way. It's all about manipulating it. It's a little cumbersome, but it'll be worth it. You're actually creating a hole inside of here. Now be mindful of the tape. You don't really wanna cut into the tape. You wanna get down here. So you have all the way down here to go, so we're good. So tilt it back and do the same as you did before. Snip and push the dirt. You wanna make a hole about that deep in there. And then close these up. What I like to do is pull it out pull it out and then push it back down around it. So it's actually holding it in. I'm gonna go all the way around and then we'll be back. And we are done. All the plants are in. I took the tape off the top of the tube and now I'm filling the tube up with water, letting it drain down, filling it back up, letting it drain down until it comes out from the bottom. Then you know it's saturated. And that's what you want. You want the water to come out it's a good sign. Tomorrow I'm gonna to come back for the next couple days and I'm gonna push these back in so it acts like an envelope closing them. And you see, nothing's coming out the sides. That tape is really holding. You just wanna make sure to push these closed. If you have to, put your finger in there and push it 
so these will close a little tighter there you go and that's what you want so you have to maybe take it and push it like that I hope you enjoyed this little project I had so much fun doing this the baskets and the liner only cost four dollars from the Dollar Tree if you want to be really creative you can even buy larger ones and fill it full if you like this kind of content please subscribe please share on social media give a like and please leave a comment below if you'd like to see more.